We now take up an example of a second order differential equation which is non-homogeneous and it is depicted or given in symbolic operator form where d stands for d dx and d2 means d2y dx2. We understand that y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. Now for the complementary function we set the right hand side to 0 and find the auxiliary equation which we write as aux eqn by inspection it is m square minus 6m plus 8 is equal to 0 and this throws out two roots m is equal to 2 and m is equal to 4 these two roots are real and distinct so the complementary function yc is equal to c1 e to the power of 2x plus c2 e to the power of 4x this is the complementary function this part is fairly simple we will have to spend a bit of time to find the particular integral and we will write the particular integral using the uh, inverse of y p is the p i is nothing but 1 over d square minus 6 d plus 8 operating on x square. So, this is the meaning. Y particular is x square. Actually, we give it a flavor of division, but actually it's the inverse operation of the direct operation d square minus 6 d plus 8. The inverse is 1 over that operating on x square. So, our focus is now how to evaluate x square divided by d square minus 6 d plus 8. We will just do that. Rub out what is on the top. That's what we need. 1 over d square minus 6 d plus 8 operating on x square. Now, this can be written as 1 over d minus 2 and d minus 4. Operating on x square. This is nothing but actually we can by inspection write that this is nothing but uh, 1 over d minus 4 minus 1 over d minus 2. Let us see 1 over d minus 4 minus 1 over d minus 2. When we open this out it is d minus 2 minus d and then plus 4. So, there will be a plus 2 factor on top. We adjust by making it 1 by 2. So, this fellow now has to operate on x square. It is nothing. We will do it in steps. In other words, we will write this as half is out. 1 over d minus 4 operating on x square minus half 1, 1 over d minus 2 operating on x square. So, we will do these one by one. Now, this half is common, so we can even remove it and take care of it later. In fact, that is what we will do we will just take away the half and remember that ultimately whatever we get as this operation will have to be halved. So, that I am capturing here half has come on top. Now, how do we evaluate x square over d minus 4? 1 over d minus 4 on x square can be adjusted to 
1 over minus 4 1 minus d by 4 operating on x square. So we just adjusted this factor as minus 4 1 over d minus 4 x square. This is equal to minus 1 by 4. We expand 1 minus d by 4 by the binomial theorem up to the d square term because this polynomial is of the second degree. So this is 1 minus alpha, so 1 plus d by 4 plus d square by 16 dot dot applied on x square. Now this is nothing but minus 1 by 4. 1 operating on x square is x square. d by 4 operating on x square is d means one differentiation so one differentiation on x square is 2x divided by 4 is 2x over 4 that is x over 2 that's d by 4 next is two differentiations on this divided by 16 one differentiation leads to 2x and the other one will lead to 2 so 2 over 16 is 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8. We will uh, capture this and uh, write it on top so that we don't lose it. So the first fellow is minus 1 by 4 x square plus x by 2 plus 1 by 8. minus 1 by 4, we must remember this, minus 1 by 4. Next we do the same kind of operation on this, 1 over d minus 2 on x square and that has to be subtracted from here. So we will rub out this part, lift only this fellow, whatever is the result of this, we will subtract from that captured fellow. So, this we will write down as, and we must not forget the half. Our task is now uh, 1 over d minus 2 operating on x square this is nothing but 1 over minus 2 1 minus d by 2 operating on x square this is minus half expanding we get 1 plus d by 2 plus d square by 4 no further term is necessary applied on x square. The next term would be d cube, but d cubed on x square will be 0. So we do this carefully. This is minus half. 1 on x square is x square. d by 2 on this is d is 2x divided by 2, so plus x. And d square on this is 2, 2 over 4 is plus half. <coughs> now, we saw that this will have to be subtracted from that expression and subtracting a negative guy, this is negative here, so subtracting this means just adding this quantity to that. So, the net result will be, I just put a plus and add x square plus x plus half. So, 
when we combine this plus x squared there was no half plus half there was a half so that gives us half x squared minus a quarter x squared that is x squared by 4 x minus x by 8 that is 7x by 8 and 1 quarter minus 1 by 32 1 quarter is 8 by 32 minus 1 by 32 is 7 by 32 which is the particular integral required It would be a good exercise, which, ca which can be done by the students, listeners, to operate the direct function on this. That means d square minus 6d plus 8 on this to see whether x squared is obtained. I have done it and got it, but now I will stop.